as long as I'm with David, I'll make That's, it. I'll be okay. Imagine that power dynamic. That's weird. That is weird. Like you have to stick around daddy David. That's actually horrible, dude. Like I, that's my worries. Like I almost want to like try to find like good, like I try to build like not a lot of friendships, but the friendships I want to build are like good because I feel like if I get to a point ever, right. Like, and that's a worry I think every creator should have is like, or, or entrepreneur is like, if I make it, there are going to be a lot of people that are going to be like, Hey, like, remember me? Like, let's, let's, let's hang out. I want to sh- like, you should tell me something about you. And like, dude, like I get, it's crazy. I'm a small creator, man. I'm a small creator. Mm-hmm. I like, I'm, I've made a few videos on Turo, right? Like talking about renting cars, dude, I will, t- I'll be the first one to tell you, like, I'll get messages from people just asking for advice for nothing. They're like, Hey, I watched one of your videos. Do you think you could like spend some time with me telling me like about Turo and like how to do it in my area? I'm like, so you're telling me that I I should take time out of my day. When I make free videos, you can watch already. Like you're telling me you watch a video and now you want an hour, two, three, whatever. I don't know how long out of my day, just to talk about what will benefit only you for free because because you watched it like what what what, like what benefit you know what i mean like i already do that if you have a question and you want me to make a video on it that i could spread to a thousand people that would benefit me and them right it's a mutual exchange great but it's crazy and i'm not even a big creator i it makes me wonder when i get let's say 10x 100x following and by the way this is like a message a week on, on Instagram, like at least one of these messages a week. I just, I just refreshed my thing. Uh, I had 22 messages on Instagram. Half of them are like, Hey, buy my NFT, like bullshit. And then another half is like, Hey, like I watched your Turo content. Can you help me? And I'm like, and I've helped one person and I regret it because I'm like, I spent so much time and like, I already do this. Like, it's not like I don't want to help people, you know, like I love helping people, dude. I love sharing knowledge. I love spreading like good word. That's why I make content. But at the same time is like, I don't want to get walked over. Like I have mm-hmm. value. I should be able to like have something in return, whether it's dude, like if someone said, Hey, like if someone texted me, this is, this is how I would take it. It's like, if someone's like even offered like, Hey, watch your content, really good stuff. Right. Start off like that. Uh, this is what I would do if I wanted to like uh, reach out to someone and I wanted to get value from them. Hey, like I watch your stuff. Like it was really cool. Uh, is there any way that I could pay you to hang out with me for an hour and you just tell me, like, answer some of my questions I have about Turo, um, share with me your experiences with it. Like, I just want to like almost have like a coaching session with you, like, um, and, and, you know, learn some, and I would be willing to pay you like, maybe like whatever you're worth, 20 bucks, 40 bucks, a hundred bucks, whatever an hour that you're, if I wouldn't even probably charge that person, you know what I mean? Like, I wouldn't even like, just because they offered, I'd be like, dude, Mm. this guy, let me see what he's about. Like, let me, maybe this could be a good business connection. Mm. Maybe this could be like, there's some mm. kind of mutual exchange, exchange that, right? He understands I don't even it. want he the money. It. Yeah. He just, I just know that person is going to be a better, like s- at least something of an asset, not a liability. And, and me giving to a person that's like, Hey, what can you give me like right now? Because like, I'm hungry f- to, to make money real quick. Cause Turo is also one of those businesses that like, people are like, I want to make money real quick. Drop shipping. I want to make money real quick. So like they're asking, and again, it's just my worry of like, if I keep giving to people for free or, or just in general, just give to people for free at all, um, with their expectation always to be like, I'm just going to get value and like never have to give anything, whether it's a subscription, a like, dude, even like an offer of like, dude, I'd pay you one day, you know, it's like, imagine when you're a million times bigger or a thousand times bigger. People will walk all over you. You'll feel used. You'll feel, and it's like, it makes me think like all these actors or people that are like, like Justin Bieber's of the world, dude. And they're like, they, they're so excommunicative to their fans. And it's like, oh, I get why that is. It's because they've been, so many people are using them in real time all the time. And they feel walked over because no one's really made in a connection that benefits them. They just, Hey, if I can just get a picture of Justin Bieber with me, maybe someone on social media will give me likes and then I'll get a follow dude. And then just imagine that a million times over dude, every day. 
pounded into you. No wonder, dude, no wonder like all these people are like, no offense, like, like literally killing themselves, dude. Like, or like, or like feeling in the dirt or feeling like they're not, they don't have real friendships, you know, like Dobrik, imagine how he feels even with his friend group. It's like, whoa, you know? Yeah. The opposite. Yeah. Holy shit. When there's just that much of a financial life motivation to stick around as his friend crazy jesus bro like who can he trust like not even them dude he's basically paying all of them millions of dollars to be his friend and be in his video how sad is that dude in a way i'm sure there's one or two i'm sure there's one or two friends that's like dude you've been here with me this whole time like we've been like you're not there for the money i can tell like i have a friend like that for sure dude like and a few really but like there's sometimes where i'm like I know, like I, deep down, this person doesn't care. Like this person just like, once I make it, we'll just like try. And there's a, I forgot who it was, maybe it was Gary Vee that was like, if you ever get a, uh, win a lottery, right? Like, let's say you make a million dollars, which is the same thing on social media. If you make like a million without someone noticing, right? Like if you made a bunch of money, no one really knew, but overnight it happened or, or within a few months, right? How do you get people to, to, um, how do you know if they're there for the money or not? Right. He said, you need to ask them for money and it doesn't have to be a lot. It like, so like, let's say I made a lot of money and then I call you up and I said, Hey, Kaylin, um, could I borrow like three grand from you? But you didn't know I made a lot of money. Right. So your incentive is like, wait, okay. Like, and I'm testing you, but you don't know I'm testing you. Right. And you're like, Oh, if you give me the money, then I'm like, oh, he really cares because he knows I need money. And like, I'll pay him back. And now like, if he asks me for money, I don't mind giving it to him because he gave it to me when I was broke or he thought I was broke. But let's say I, but let's say I uh, ask you for money and you're like, no. And then a week later you find out I made a million dollars and you ask me for money. I know you're not at, even though you're like my cat died and like, dude, or my dog and, and my grandma is sick and I, and I need can't like cancer medicine for, and it's expen. And I'm like, dude, you're asking me not because of that. You're asking me because you found out I had a million dollars. And when I asked you for a small amount, whether it was three grand or 30, $30 or $300, whatever it is. Right. So that, that was his way of like explaining, like, that's how you vet out the people that are willing to give with no expectation of return, the ones that really care and the ones that, but you can only do it when they don't know. Cause now if, if you knew I was a millionaire and I asked you, you'd be like, dude, this guy can pay me back, man. He'll pay me back in dividends, dude. I'll do anything. But if you don't know anyway, so that was a really interesting point. Like if you win the lotto, that's how you, you ask, yeah. you ask all your friends if they'll give you money and the ones that do you trust them with your life and the ones that don't, you don't give anything to. What, yeah. what's the, um, crazy, <laughs> what's the, the show squid games, the entire basis of squid games. Oh. That, that is the entire show. Yeah. Yeah. I guess that's true. Huh? And then that's it, a good show. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Cause the whole time they're asking for money from people and they're like, I didn't make it like, what the fuck, if you have any money, I'm trying to get it. And then the end of it, the full circle is that the main character gets all this money. And then he starts asking, he asks that high up lawyer guy for money. Or at the very end, do you remember that scene? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it's like brings it back full circle. Like, oh shit. <laughs> Fuck. That's crazy. It's quick game. Yeah. Yeah. So if you ever, yeah, if you ever make it, man, ask people for money. See if they'll give it to you. If they do, you can trust them. If they don't, you could even do it now. Like, meaning, like, and people change though, right? But yeah. Like, you could theoretically test this out you know, you know, yeah. in a way, in a controlled manner before you make it. Cause if you think like genuinely, like I want to trust the people around me, I think I'm going to make it big at some point or, or maybe I'm already on my way. Yeah. You could see who the true people are that way. You don't have those same exact concerns that the people that made it have now. Cause they are like stressed out the wazoo dude, because who do you trust? Jesus Christ. That's why family can become. Dude, your family, you think, oh, I can trust my family. I can trust my best friends. Maybe not. Who knows? That's no, there's sad. Yeah. There's definitely people in my life that have had my back, yeah. especially financially over the time, you know, and like, yeah, 
I mean, I'm not like the most well off. So like, and you know, my friends have definitely helped in situations where I needed it. And I'm grateful yeah. for that. And, you know, I always That's take cool. that into an out, but they like, yeah, I, I think there is like a little bit, especially with one of my better friends is like, I think he knows something's going to happen and it's almost like an investment <laughs> in a way. <laughs> that's fine too. Like if it's a, I don't think that's toxic, you know, like I think there's some, Oh, like, cause if he, I don't know, like you don't buy, think about it like this. You don't invest in a stock typically that you don't believe is going to go up in value, which means they believe in you, which is a good trait. Mm -hmm. And you don't invest in a stock that you don't like. Like I wouldn't go and buy, like if I hate pollution, I'm not going to go buy a stock that's just, even though it's going to be profitable, is all about polluting the earth, right? Yeah. So in a way that's, I think, a healthy. No, yeah. Yeah. I mean, definitely like, that's the thing, man, is make it in the world. I just want to give so many people back 10x what they gave me, you know, like. And that's cool, man that's that would fulfill me so like dude or just like giving the most great life to my girlfriend my future wife whatever it is like that is so fulfilling to me or like you know paying back my parents for everything they bought for me or you know because i my mom i um i was a kid I was like, mom, I'm going to be a trillionaire. And she's like, oh, no way. And then like, I like reversed and went the exact opposite way. And I'm like, no, I just want to live off no money.
Thank you.